Welcome everybody, my name is Brandon Baker of Black Dog Barbecue. Thank you for stopping by. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button before we go any further, because today I've got an awesome collaboration that I'm doing with Charboro Grills, where we're gonna be making party style ribs with a pumpkin bourbon barbecue sauce. Let's check it out. Today we're gonna be making party style ribs, and I've seen these all over social media here recently, and they've got a lot of benefits when you're comparing these to traditional smoked ribs. So when it comes to the prep for these party style ribs, you're gonna be slicing these into individual ribs instead of cooking it as a whole rack. So as you would imagine, the cook time is gonna be significantly less. No matter really how you prepare your smoked ribs, if you're doing a traditional method, whether it's three, two, one, whether you do a two, two, one, or whatever it might be, that tends to take somewhere in the realm of about four to six hours. These party style ribs are gonna take close to half of that. So since the cook time is so much less, this is great for a crowd, as you can imagine from the name with the party style ribs. We're great for a tailgate here, it's football season right now. Great for any get together really that you might have, so it's an awesome option. So the other major benefit of cooking ribs this way is the fact that you're gonna get a nice char on each and every rib. This isn't like your traditional ribs where you're cooking them low and slow you can kind of throw them on the grill and forget about them for a little bit you're gonna have to pay a little bit more attention you got to give them a flip every once in a while but with that is going to come some extra flavor and a different texture than you would get from a traditional rib personally i really like cooking ribs this way and we make it a good bit at the house so in terms of how we'll be cooking these today i'll be cooking these up on my charbroil four burner commercial series gas grill that's going to be perfect because of the fact it has so much surface area i'm going to be cooking two racks of ribs so we're going to have plenty of room to cook both of those racks that are individually cut so Basically how we're gonna be doing this again is cooking at about 275 to 300 degrees on the grill with direct heat. So once those ribs register about 170 to 175 degrees, I'm gonna take them off the grill, throw them in a foil pan with a homemade pumpkin bourbon barbecue sauce. It's fall, so we wanna lean into the theme and I think that's gonna be a great flavor combination that's gonna go excellent on these ribs. So once we throw those ribs into the pan with that pumpkin bourbon barbecue sauce, we'll add some butter in there as well. We're gonna cover those ribs up, throw them back on the grill to finish at the same cooking temperature until they register about 200 to 205 degrees, then we'll pull them off and serve. It's that easy. So now that we've broken down the process of how we'll be preparing and cooking these ribs today, I'm gonna go get the grill turned on, we'll throw the ribs on and get started. Simple as that, it is a fully prepared party rib. We're gonna get ready to throw these on the grill now. All right, so we got our ribs on. We're gonna let these cook covered here for about 30 minutes, then I'll check them, probably give them a flip at that point, and continue to let them cook again until they reach that 175-ish degree mark before we pull them off. So we're gonna let these go for a little while, and I'll check back in on them in a bit. Now while we've got those ribs cooking on the grill, we're gonna go ahead and use the side burner here to cook our pumpkin bourbon barbecue sauce. And when I say cook, that's really a loose term here. We're gonna be warming up a few ingredients like our pumpkin puree, barbecue sauce, brown sugar, apple cider vinegar, and some spices. So I'm gonna throw all those together here in just a minute. We're gonna let it simmer for about five minutes and that's all we're really gonna be doing for this sauce before we add it in with our ribs in the foil pan. Our sauce has been simmering for about five minutes now, so I'm gonna give this another stir or two, then I'm gonna turn off the heat and we're just gonna set this aside until we're ready to use the sauce. All right, so just checked in on the ribs at the 20 minute mark and went ahead and gave these guys a flip. The grill was running at about 325, so I wanted to go ahead and do it a little bit earlier than I had originally planned, which is perfectly fine. So as you can see, we've got a nice char on this side of the rib. We're gonna do the same thing to the other side, and continue to flip these guys until that internal hits 170, when we'll throw them in a pan and wrap them up with the sauce. All right, these ribs have been cooking for about 45 minutes now, and they've hit that 175 mark that I'm looking for, so I'm gonna pull these off the grill at this point and go ahead and prep these up for the final stages of the cook. Just gonna layer these ribs in here. Time to hit them with the sauce. Oh, that's gonna be good. Don't forget your butter. Back on the grill we go. Like I mentioned, we're gonna let these ribs finish cooking until they hit about 200 to 205 degrees. They're just gonna be basting in that butter and barbecue sauce and it's gonna come out absolutely fantastic. I can't wait to give it a try. We're gonna close these up and I'll check back in on them in a little bit. All right, so it's been a little over 30 minutes since we last checked in on these ribs. And as you can see, I took off the aluminum foil just a second ago so that you guys could take a look in and see what these ribs look like at this stage. They just registered that 200 to 205 degree mark, depending on which rib you're hitting. So I'm about to pull these off the grill now, let them rest for a few minutes and we'll serve them up. 
All right, and I pulled the ribs off the grill and I've let them rest for about 20 minutes now. They're still pretty hot. I could let them rest longer, but today I'm gonna go ahead and dig in because they are just smelling absolutely delicious. Mm. That is really good. I tell you what, it definitely has a different texture than your typical smoked rib, but that's okay because we were grilling these ribs today. We weren't smoking them. Instead of taking that four to six hour time period I discussed earlier, I got these done in an hour and 15 minutes, maybe an hour and a half top. So this was a really quick cook, still incredibly tender and absolutely delicious. Mm. Besides the texture with these, cooking them on the grill, which I do love, you know, the pumpkin bourbon barbecue sauce is really, really good too. It's super underrated. I know it's a little unorthodox compared to what you would typically put for a barbecue sauce. I actually really like it and could not recommend this enough, especially for these fall get togethers, whether it's a tailgate or you're just getting together with friends. These are so good. That wraps up today's video. Thank you again for stopping by. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. I honestly think it is perfect for tailgate season and this fall weather. Definitely worth giving a try. But continue to follow along. We've got a lot of great content coming down the pipeline. But until then, have a good one and happy grilling.